Well, we also know that Denver restaurants and bars are going to be shutting their doors to customers starting at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. The idea, of course, is to slow the spread of the virus that causes COVID-19. So now you're talking about takeout and delivery becoming the best option. Denver's Mayor Michael Hancock made this order this morning, along with banning all gatherings of 50 or more people. I think we knew it was coming, but 9 News reporter Noel Brennan is outside the city and county building. And Noel, we want to know how businesses are reacting and taking this news. Well, Kim, they're worried. They're worried about having to solely rely on takeout and delivery. They're worried about their employees, how they're going to pay for them, uh, pay them, and whether or not they're going to have to let some of them go. They're worried, frankly, about staying in business over the next eight weeks. It's usually pretty busy. Usually we're pretty full with customers and takeout orders and deliveries. Customers are yeah. still hanging out at the Witch Witch on Colfax. Slow as hell, man. But they're not Sometimes. filling any seats. Yeah, seriously. We're closing dine-in also, just going to do takeout orders. Owner Darmish Parmar yeah, okay. has more than enough time right. for a phone call. Right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. Because there's no afternoon rush. We're going to be shutting down our dine-in as of today and just taking carry-out orders and delivery from now on until they tell us otherwise. The city ordered all bars and restaurants to do the same for the next eight weeks. Eight weeks. That's tough. The latest measure to slow the spread of COVID-19. Being in the restaurant industry, I didn't expect to have to worry about a pandemic virus coming into in the near, near future, you know, and just halting everything that we've built up over the last few years. Parmar yeah. was forced to lay off all but one employee. It's tough. It's hard to hide how all this is making him feel. Interacting with people all day long, you just kind of like quiet. <laughs> you can tell most people don't want to talk to you either. For now, it's takeout and delivery until customers he counts on can come back. You know, just killing the virus and just getting back to daily life is kind of all I can really hope for. A lot came out of the press conference this morning with Mayor Michael Hancock. He announced that all DMV locations in the city of Denver will be closing for a period of time. Evictions are being put on hold for now. And the mayor also asked young, healthy people who are not showing any signs of COVID-19 to volunteer their time if they can, especially in the homeless shelters. Kim, he also stressed the fact that the city is at a critical shortage of personal protective equipment, both for people that are in homeless shelters and the healthcare industry. He mentioned that several times. Also, just a sign of the fact that we're in a new normal for the very first time, uh, myself, a fellow journalist, Journalists were given uh, temperature checks before the press conference this morning. That mm. was the first time that we've ever experienced something like that before. Something we all don't know what we're going to experience today and tomorrow, and we know there's going to be many ways we can support these businesses, and we're going to stay tuned besides the idea of buying gift cards and things, but we got to stick in together so that they can survive through all of this. Absolutely. It's a good point. You bring up the gift cards. You can certainly do that. And many of these restaurants are staying open and they're relying on takeout and deliveries to keep them afloat over the next eight weeks. Pay it forward. Maybe buy it for somebody down the street that's not going to get out. Okay. Thank you. Right. Noel.